decided to go into the museum, but we have to wait for a little bit. Today, we are going to head in to the Houston Museum of Natural Science and check out the traveling Pompeii exhibit that is here, and we're super excited. So, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a... Thumbs up! Okay, what do you know about Pompeii? Um, that it was a city, um, and a volcano destroyed it. Now, it's special and significant because it's one of the best preserves, preserved like situations where that happened. So we can learn a lot because the way that the city was covered in ash preserved a lot of the things from Pompeii, so from ancient times. So we're able to see it and study it. I know some about, some about volcanoes. What do you know about volcanoes? That you don't put trash in there. You don't oh, put trash yeah. in volcanoes. It's in a Dr. Binox because then that would just make it erupt and stuff. All of that I remember is that do not put trash in a volcano. <laughs> don't put trash in a volcano. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, so today is a very rainy day. So they're expecting it to be very busy. Very busy because, like you said, all the people who are going to go to the zoo, like Aunt Jessica, are going to come here. In the parking garage, member parking is ten dollars, but non-member parking is twenty dollars. And our tickets, we get a uh, member discount, so our tickets are only fifteen dollars a piece for adults and children. Um, but normal tickets are thirty dollars for adults and twenty-one dollars for children for the Pompeii exhibit. And that includes general admission to the, the open figure exhibit. That is so cool. This is our first time getting to see Victoria. It's one of the largest, most complete T-Rex. Oh my gosh, it goes into the ceiling. That travels. Yeah. It has a name. I know. Victoria was found. I think you're in Texas. And look at how much bigger it is. Holy smokes. And this is and she goes up into the ceiling. Look, it's like broken out of there. It's so cool. Hey wait, Amelia, come tell me. Is it an authentic fossil or an inauthentic fossil? I can't tell you that. I can only tell you if it's real or not. That's what authentic and inauthentic means, baby. Yeah, but I don't remember which and one. Is. And this one is so, real. This one is real because you can see the external support structures. They're not going to damage the bone by making it internal. I think I saw a stain on one of them. Yep. So cool. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to show you what that is. What do you want to tell me? Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. It looks right. like I'm running like a raptor. Ah, it does look like you're running like a raptor. Found in South Dakota. It looks like Whoa. Part of her femur, but look, it's fractured. It's broken. It's broken? Mm -hmm. This is fake. Uh -oh. That's the actual skull for that. Oh yeah, I got that. It because it, it's, this is the actual one. So it's too heavy to go on. Oh really? Yeah. They're gonna tell us, and then the doors will open. How fun is that? One day in Pompeii. Uh, it started. It started. Two thousand years ago, a mighty Roman Empire was at the height of its power, ruling lands that stretched from England to Africa and from Syria to Spain. One of the flourishing regions under this dominating rule was located south of Rome defined by the colossal 
Mount Vesuvius. Pompeii was one of a number of towns at the base of this mountain. A cultured and vibrant city, it was a time of great prosperity, and Pompeii became a rich agricultural center, a vital seaport, and a booming commercial hub. The town hosted theatrical and sporting events. The people visited luxurious public baths, and wealthy Roman visitors enjoyed a lifestyle the Mediterranean offered. Life was good for many of the 25,000 inhabitants. But that was all about to change. In 62 AD, an earthquake rattled the small town, yet the citizens rebuilt, unsuspecting of the looming disaster. With no word for volcano in the Latin language, the people of Pompeii were largely unaware of the mighty power of Mount Vesuvius. On the 24th of August, 79 AD, 17 years later, Mount Vesuvius tragically burst forth, raining fire and debris on the entire city. Within the span of 24 hours, all life was stopped, buried under 12 feet of ash and stone. It was not until 1740 that this hidden city was unearthed. It lay forgotten for over 16 centuries, awaiting the discovery that perhaps no other place in the world could offer. An ancient Roman city, frozen in time, preserved by the very tragedy that destroyed her. Now, step into this extraordinary city and discover the story of the people of Pompeii, their way of life and their death, in the shadow of Vesuvius. Close. I remember we do not touch. It's a mosaic. It's made up of oh, teeny yeah. tiny little tiles. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? The tiniest of tiles. Isn't it so pretty? That is so cool. Look at this. Isis Fortuna. Beautiful. These are gods and goddesses. Look at their statues, Marilyn. How beautiful. Do you know how they made that? They carved it with a little chisel and a hammer. Isn't that amazing? This is what they would have had in their garden. Look at this. You want to see what this is? I want that. That is an anchor. That's exactly what it says. Great job. Great job. These are fishing hooks. And that is just shaped like one. Mm -hmm. We knew it was an anchor. They are tools. Good job. <laughs> That's literally what they are. It's gardening tools. That looks like a hammer. Uh huh. That looks like it was so what they would do is you hang a weight on one side and then you measure whatever you want to measure on the other side and you know how much this weighs so then you would know how much that weighs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, please enter now, it says. Okay, we're going to wait our turn. Oh, right this way. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, that's fun. The floor vibrates too. It's like a ride. Just get it started like any other day. Do, okay. Now remember, yep, yeah, these were buried and nobody found them until 16 centuries later. Do not touch. These are probably casts, but still don't touch. Um, it's like a fossil when it's not real. But look, see, they found them like people, like like as if they had just been laid down and died. See, a child from the fruit orchard, found in the fruit orchard. They were still able to make out his body 16 centuries later. A century is 100 years. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do with that. This is the man on stairs. Oh, it's that man on stairs. But isn't it amazing because the ash fell around their body, but then their body rotted out from the inside, and it left a swarm. Look at that, he was buried so quickly, he was so propped up. Mm, here we go. As excavators continued to uncover human yeah. remains, they noticed that the skeletons were surrounded by voids in the compacted ash, so they found skeletons. And what they started to do is they would slowly pour in plaster of Paris to make a mold, and that's how they actually made the body. It was just a hole, and they poured plaster in it, and then when they took it away, it looked like that, because that's where somebody had died. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the many discoveries made about the people of Pompeii is learning about their diet. This man, like many others, had very good teeth. Researchers say this is due to not only the good water source they had, but also the food they consumed. We can learn so much. What's this? It's a guard dog. I didn't even look at that first. What's that? Oh, it was a hole. Mm -hmm. As the ash hardens, it solidifies the shape of its victim's bodies long after the flesh is gone. This is the layer. This is not to scale, because this would be six feet, which would really be up here. 
12 feet. Wow. 12 feet. I don't know why they didn't just make it to scale. Yeah. If the paradox of archaeology, you read the past best in its moments of trauma. So guys, thanks for coming along on our HMNS trip to see the Pompeii exhibit and a special little sneak peek of Miss Victoria the T-Rex. I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. You can definitely expect a lot more around Houston, around Southeast Texas fun this year as things are starting to open back up. It's become so much more exciting to get out and about and see people again, see people people out, see places doing the best that they can to operate the safest way that they can.